Hey there, today we're going to take a look at Marriott's Florida Club and tell you what it's all about right after this. Hey there, I'm Jeremy with Destination Timeshare. Before we get started talking about Marriott's Florida Club, if you're new here and you like timeshare tips, resort reviews, villa tours and industry news, please be sure to subscribe down below and also hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. So let's get started. Marriott's Florida Club is a program that Marriott Vacation Club actually started back in the late 90s and they actually even still offer this today even though they're no longer selling Weeks Timeshare Ownership. So what this program is, is this is a kind of a mini internal reservation system at five Marriott Vacation Club resorts in Florida. So we have Grand Vista in Orlando, Legends Edge in Panama City, Villas at Doral in Miami, Florida, Beach Place Towers in Fort Lauderdale, and Marriott's Ocean Point in West Palm Beach or Palm Beach Shores. So what this program allows you to do is you can make a reservation within six months of check-in at one of the other properties as long as you own at one of these properties. There is one caveat to this and that is with Grand Vista. There are actually a number of units which do not participate in the Florida Club. And I actually have a list of those here and I'll also provide that in the description below. So if you own at Grand Vista or you're looking to purchase a week at Grand Vista, you want to make sure you purchase one that does participate in the Florida Club. So as I explained just a bit ago, if you own at one of these resorts in the Florida Club, you can reserve at any of the other properties within six months of check-in. There is also another benefit if you own and are reserving two consecutive or concurrent weeks, meaning you're booking two weeks back to back or both for the same week, you can actually reserve those seven months in advance. So that's a bit of a plus if you own two weeks in the Florida Club. There is one key restriction. You can only reserve within the season you own. So for example, if you own a gold season at Grand Vista, you can only reserve a week at another Marriott Florida Club property in the gold season. You can't reserve it at any other time. So that's one key thing to make sure you know when you're making reservations. This can be a significant restriction if you own, say, Silver Season at Legends Edge or at Ocean Point, because those are the only two properties that actually have a Silver Season in the Florida Club. So if you own Silver Season at Legends Edge, you can't reserve into Beach Place Towers, Grand Vista, or Villas at Doral. So that is one thing to keep in mind when looking at Silver Season weeks within the Florida Club. So one other key benefit is if you own at Legends Edge or Villas at Doral, you would own a two bedroom non lock off property. Those units are dedicated two bedroom units. You can't lock them off at your home resort. So this is a great use of the Florida Club. So what you can do is you can actually lock off by reserving a studio or a one bedroom at one of the other properties that has lock offs. So whether it would be Grand Vista, Ocean Point or Beach Place Towers, you can Pay the fee, the lock off fee that Marriott charges when you lock off your week, or if you're enrolled in Marriott's Destination Clubs Points program, you would have no lock off fee. But when you reserve at one of those other properties, you can actually lock off and reserve a one bedroom or a studio using your two bedroom at Legends Edge or at Villas at Doral. So that is definitely a big plus with the Florida Club. So what can you do with these reservations when you make them in another Florida Club property? You can actually use them just like you would as if it was your home resort reservation. So you can stay in the villa, you could rent it out, um, make some extra cash, or you could exchange it through Interval International. So it's just like it's your home resort reservation. Whereas with Interval International, you can't exchange into, per their guidelines and per their terms and conditions, you cannot exchange into another property through Interval and then turn around and rent that for cash. So this can be a big plus if you own a week that has perhaps weak demand in Interval International. You could reserve into the Florida Club at one of the other properties, then go ahead and just deposit those into Interval International and make a request for somewhere else, anywhere else within the Marriott system or within any of Interval International's thousands of resorts that they have available. So another important thing to note when you're making an exchange through Interval International, this be whether you're making a deposit or you're just going on to search for available inventory or you're opening a search request. Interval International is going to ask you for a unit number. This is not the unit number that you actually own on your deed. 
This is a specific four character code that is assigned to your ownership by Marriott Vacation Club. And I'm actually gonna provide those in the description below so you'll know exactly what codes to enter when you're making your requests. So I have all of this information detailed in a quick guide called Florida Club Explained. And I'll actually provide a link to that below in the description. So be sure to check that out. Feel free to download that, um, print it out. It tells you everything you would need to know about the Florida Club. I also have in the description below a link to Marriott Vacation Club's own document that actually details these specific properties that are in the Florida Club and also those units at Grand Vista that are excluded. So I sure hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell and also feel free to share this with all your friends and family. And don't forget, until next time, let's make your next destination a timeshare. I feel